In this video, we are going to learn how to use the app Toontastic. First, let's download the app from Manager. Find a manager on your iPad and go to My Apps. And in the search bar, type in Once you have found it, click install. After the app has downloaded to your iPad, open to Tastic. Quiet on the set! Rolling! Action! Okay, to get started with your very first project, Please click on the blue plus button. Now you will select the template. You have the option of choosing short story, classic story, or science report. Your teacher will tell you which template to use. In this case, I'm going to select classic story. Now it is time to start recording the scenes of your story. You will notice that you will have different options. For the classic story, you have setup, conflict, challenge, climax, and resolution. If you choose the short story or the science report, you'll notice that those are different. To get started, I'm going to select setup. Choose a setting. You can scroll forward and backward to see this different setting options Toontastic already has for you. And at the bottom you will notice a button that says draw your own in which you can draw your own setting. Now add your characters. You can choose up to six characters and just like the setting you can scroll forward and backward to see the different character options Toontastic has for you. And you will notice you have that draw your own button again if you would like to draw your own objects or characters. These are the characters that I have selected for my story. I can choose up to six characters. You will notice a small paintbrush under each character. If you tap on the paintbrush then you are able to customize that character. That means that you can change how the character looks. To customize a character, you can tap on the area of the character you would like to change and then select the color. You can change the character's skin, the character's hair, their clothes, their socks and their shoes. Just like this. Once you have finished customizing your character, select the blue check mark at the top. It will ask you to name your character. Type a name for your new character. Once you have arrived at the start screen, you can tap on a character and the character will move. You notice that their head, legs, and arms will move. You can zoom in and out on a character and before you start recording you want to go ahead and place the characters where you want them to be in the beginning of your story. As you are recording you want to tap on the character that is talking and also try to be creative and use a different voice for each character. You can also move along the setting. You can zoom in and out, and you can drag your finger along the screen to change the setting. You can do this going forward and backward. Once you are ready to record, hit the green start button. The first time you use Toontastic, it will ask you for access to the microphone. Make sure to click OK. 
After you have recorded the theme, it will ask you to set the mood. This means that you get to choose some background music. On the very bottom, you can scroll through the different options it has for you. You can tap on one of the options and you will notice a little bar pops up. You can drag the circle up and down and you will notice that the sound of the music changes. When you have selected the mood, click on the check mark at the top. Next, it is time for you to repeat that process with the conflict, challenge, climax, and resolution. You will do the same for each one. You will select the setting, select your characters, record, and set the mood. After you have finished recording and you feel like you want to try again, then you can select the circle with the arrow to go back and re-record. It will ask you if you want to start over and if you're sure you want to record it again, select start over. If you want to keep what you have recorded and go on to the next scene, then select cancel. After you have recorded all of your scenes, it is time to name your project. Type your title on the title line and your name on the director line. Once you have your title and your name, click on the red check mark at the top. Before you share your project, you can click the play button in the middle to see your entire creation. If there is something you would like to change, click on the edit button. Once you are ready to share it, click on the export button. The first time you select export, it will ask you to give Toontastic access to your photos. Click allow access to all photos. Then your Toontastic project will start saving to your photo library. This means that this video will be found in your photos app. Once your video has finished exporting or downloading, you will see this screen to let you know it has saved to your photo library, which is your photo app. Now it's time for you to share your Toontastic project. Go to photos and find your video. On this screen, select the square row at the very top. Here you can scroll through to see the different apps where you can export your video to. If you are going to be using this for Google Slides, I recommend that you save this to your Google Drive using your CISD Google account. To save your Toontastic to your Google Drive, scroll through and select Drive. Make sure that you are signed in to your CISD Google account. Then you can tap on it at the very top and title your project. And I am using the title that I used for my, my movie. After you have selected the title, typed in the title, then you want to select a folder and select my drive. And if you have a photo folder for videos, you can choose that here. If not, then just select save here at the very bottom. Now select upload. And once that screen goes away, that means that your video is now saved to your Google Drive. To find it, let's go to Google Drive. And what I did is that I pulled down my screen so it can refresh. And now I see that my project is there. And if I tap it, I can watch it all over again.